All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm back with our Visual C++ tutorial, and today we will be uh, a C++ SDL tutorial. Today we will be moving our picture around. So let's go to my documents where the project saved for me, at least, and let's go look at what our program currently does. Now, we want to make this bad boy move around with the W, A, S, and D keys. How can we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. So down here we've pulled the event for SDL, and if it quits, we uh, running false. But let's screw around. So let's screw around with um, some other events. All right. So now if occur dot type equals equals SDL key down is it? I think so. Hit SDL key down. Then we're gonna switch occur dot um, key dot key sim dot sim and case SDL K W break case SDL K W A break case SDL K W A S Sorry, typing up some typos here. Case SDLK WAS and D break. All right. So what what's going on here? Well, first off, uh, the type occur is our um, SDL event structure, as we and we created it just to test to see if we quit it before. But type contains all kinds of stuff like key down, key up, um, mouse button down, mouse button up, all kinds of good stuff like that. So after, so if we checked it and a key was down from our event, if if the um, pumped an event to us and it was a key down event, we're gonna go, to, we're gonna switch something. And what we're switching is our occur dot key dot key sim dot sim. Now um what this does is it is the it checks which key was pushed down. This so we're switching which key was pushed down. And down here S D L K W A S and D, those are all the um keys. Like for for every key has an um. Every key has a different one. Like say, so SDLKW is our W key. Uh, SDLKA is A, and that goes for anything. Like there's SDLK um, space. There's SDLK, and like for any letter, so just A. Like we can do all of them. They just look C is SDLKC, and then we can go to SDLK tab, SDLK anything. Like any key on the keyboard. Like if you really want to know them all, we we'll Google them. All right, so. We've got W, A, S, and D. Now, how are we going to move this picture box around? Well, let's start off by uh, building this with F7 so I can prove to you it works, and it does. So we'll come back over to here, and boom. It doesn't do anything, but it is checking those events. So this compiles and runs. Now, how can we move this picture box around? That's the question. Well, it's pretty simple, really. Our offset, remember, that variable is what set it to 150 on the screen. Now, what happens if we make it so that when you press A, you want it to move left, D, move right? So let's do A and D first. So we'll do offset. So for D, we want it to move right. So we're going to add to the offset. So offset dot um, X plus equals 1 to make it move right, W, A, S, A, and then offset dot X minus equals 1. So we come here and we we build this, build our solution. This will move really fast. But you see, look, we can move our guy back and forth. A little picture, he moves back and forth. Of course, this the key up and key down events are really bad ways to do it, in my opinion. But, you know, what are you going to do? So we got that working. Now we want to make it move up and down. This is where stuff gets a little bit odd. See, in, in SDL, when you, um, 0, 0 isn't down here. 0, 0 is up here. So in order to make make our guy move up, we want to subtract. We want to subtract from the, um, the, the Y. We want to subtract from the Y coordinate. So SDLKW, we're going to have offset dot Y minus equals 1. And for S, we're going to have offset dot Y plus equals one. These are just simple counters. So we um, build our solution right there. What? Why? Oh, for comma not period. Sorry. 
was not my fault. So F7. And boom. We can make our guy move around. Pretty cool, huh? So I think that's good. I'll, I'll show you another way how to do movement. I think in the next tutorial, I'll be using key states instead of SDO up and down events, key down events, which are really kind of nasty in my opinion. So, but I'll see you guys later.